Protein is extremely important. If you don't get your protein, you'll have a deficiency and then your muscles will start to shrink. Now, this isn't about looking good and becoming a bodybuilder. The reason I'm saying you need to have protein is so you can stay strong after the collapse. The post-apocalyptic world will be one that requires lots of physical activity. You'll be chopping wood, walking long distances, maybe you'll be in combat, maybe you'll have to carry an injured family member. There are so many things that will require strength. Lots of prepper foods that other people recommend are loaded with carbs, which is good, but eating food with high protein will give you the strength and energy you need to survive in such a world. So today we're going to look at the top 10 high protein prepper foods you should stockpile. First up is peanut butter. You should buy peanut butter because it's a good source of protein. I remember back in the day when I was in high school, we had a few guys who wanted to be bodybuilders and they all had watched a YouTube video where some fitness influencers mentioned that peanut butter is a good cheap source of protein. So after that, we had lots of them constantly buying peanut butter during lunchtime and making sandwiches and sometimes eating it just like that with a spoon. Now, peanut butter isn't densely packed with protein as steak, but it does have enough protein to prevent you from having a protein deficiency and keep you strong. With peanut butter, you can just open a jar and eat it with a spoon. You can add it to recipes and you can even make a smoothie or shake out of it. Next is beans and lentils. They're both a great source of protein. They last a very long time and they're inexpensive. So make sure to stockpile both. Canned chicken, corned beef and luncheon meat like Spam. Everyone knows about this as a prepper food. Some people really enjoy it and some people hate it, but they're high in protein, so it's worth mentioning. Quick oats aren't usually seen as a protein food. People usually associate them with having carbs, but they're a good source of protein with about 10 grams of protein and 54 grams of carbs per cup. They also last a long time and are very easy to prepare. Since these have both carbs and protein, they're a good food to have and are basically a whole meal on their own. Protein bars are ready to eat and are high in protein, but they aren't something that lasts a really long time, like beans or oats. The reason I would have these is for keeping in a bug out bag or vehicle survival kit. That way, if I have to evacuate my area, I just pull out the protein bar and eat it without worrying about stopping to pull out a propane stove to cook food and then eat it. Canned tuna is one of the cheapest foods on the list. It's high in protein with a can like this having about 39 grams of protein and tuna is ready to eat right out of the can. Powdered eggs. Regular eggs are great and they have lots of protein, but unless you can can them, they will expire very quickly. They aren't a super long-term prepper food, so that's why I like powdered eggs. They can last about 10 years. They are pretty easy to prepare as well. Just add water and cook them up. Canned crab meat isn't something I've ever heard other preppers mention, but it's high in protein and lasts very long. Canned salmon is good too. Both of these foods are nice to have once you get bored of the usual canned tuna. Beef jerky. This is another food that has a decent shelf life because it's dried. And I keep beef jerky as a bug out bag or vehicle emergency kit food because it's ready to eat. When I've been out in the cold for a day or two, like during a camping trip, I get hungry because the cold really burns a lot of calories. I could eat a protein bar, but it never has the same effect as something like beef jerky. You feel warmer and more satisfied once you've had some type of meat product. Canned sardines. Another long lasting and high protein prepper food. I like to buy these because they're super cheap. It's like $1.37 for a can and each can has about 18 grams of protein. Look for the boneless fillets if you find the regular ones hard to eat. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and follow.